What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and welcome to the Keep It Techie channel. And in today's video, I wanted to dive into the world of cybersecurity with a brand new Linux distribution called Snoop God. Now, you might be wondering, what's the story behind Snoop God? Well, let me fill you in. First off, Snoop God is the brainchild of a dedicated team who, after encountering some domain issues with their previous project, Black Buntu, decided to rebrand and come back stronger than ever. And you guys might remember that video. I did a review of Black Buntu about a year ago. Well, anyway, the name Snoop God is not only a nod to the creator's love for Snoop Dogg's music, but also reflects the distro's mission to provide a secure environment for cybersecurity enthusiasts like you and me. So sit tight as we explore what makes Snoop God stand out in the world of ethical hacking and digital forensics. Let's get to it. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right, so I'm at God.com. And of course, I'll have the link down in the description of the video so you can get right here and you can check out this distro. But now that we got a glimpse of the backstory, let's delve deeper into what Snoop God is all about. Now, like I stated, Snoop God is a Linux distribution tailored specifically for penetration testing and digital forensics. And it's similar to Kali Linux and a couple other cybersecurity base Linux distributions. But Snoop God is built upon a reliable Ubuntu, which offers stability and familiarity, making it accessible to both seasoned professionals and newcomers alike. And that's one thing I really like about this distro. It's based on Ubuntu. That's what made me cover Black Ubuntu back in the day because I believe that Ubuntu is like one of the most easiest distros for new users to transition to, especially if they're coming from Windows or Mac OS. Now, let me head over to the downloads page because I wanted to show you guys how to get it right fast. So if you click download here on the right, and so now let's talk about what sets Snoop God apart from other distros. And just like Kali or Parrot OS, it comes pre-installed with over 800 tools and libraries ready for action straight out the box. But you also have that familiar Ubuntu, which I believe makes it super simple. Now we all know Kali Linux also is based on Debian. So that one's pretty easy to use too. But I think Snoop God would be a great option for people out there to use. So if you're looking to use a lot of those great tools that are out there, that are built for cybersecurity professionals from like information gathering to vulnerability scanning, password cracking to network mapping. Snoop God provides a comprehensive suite of tools to tackle any cybersecurity challenge. And also with regular updates, you can rest assured that you're always equipped with the latest technology to stay ahead of the game, which in my opinion, that's top notch. Now let's check out a little bit more, but the current version is Snoop God 22.04. So like I said, it's based on Ubuntu Jammy Jellyfin. And this version of Snoop God was released on January 2nd, 2024. It's been downloaded about 2,428 times. I want you guys to actually check this out, man, play around with it. But a little bit more information, the architecture is AMD 64, processor, you know, two gigahertz dual processor or better, you know, RAM, at least four gigs of RAM system around this space at least 80 gigs of free hard drive space now i've gotten away with 64 when i installed it on my virtual machine so i don't think it really matters they don't have a restriction set on it i believe but you want to make sure you at least have some good drive space because it's a lot of tools like i said that you can install that are pre-installed and if you look at the size it's 7.41 gigabytes so it's a big iso and also something that's super important is it comes with the 6.5 kernel so we're good to go there. And then, like I said, it's also based on Ubuntu Jammy Jellyfish. I'm sure they're gonna upgrade this when 24.04 is released in about two months, which I'm looking forward to actually checking out. Now, all you gotta do is hit the download button. They also had to check some so you can verify that you're getting a download from the correct location, but just hit the download now button that'll download it. I already have it downloaded and 
ready to go for my virtual machine when we go through the install so let's hop over and get right to it all right so i'm booted up into the live iso and you'll be greeted with this welcome screen and it's basically asking you what you want to do can't do you want to try snoop god or do you want to install snoop god so you got two options there but you can go in and try it i won't click try because one thing they don't have within the virtual machine i guess right now when you click the try feature there isn't a installation script unless I didn't see it. So like I stated earlier, I kind of talked to the creator of Snoop God and actually he contacted me after I did the video on Black Buntu about a year ago, which was super cool. And he was telling me that he was releasing his project with the KDE desktop environment, you know, and all the updates and all that stuff. But they also asked me if I saw anything that I would possibly point it out. Well, that was the only thing I saw because I, of course, I tested out the distro before I decided to record a video. I've been playing around with it ever since I downloaded it. And that was just one thing I saw so far that they probably could add to the distro, probably an installation script if you're going to try uh, Snoop God. But one cool thing about it, you could just reboot the distro and and then boot right back into the live ISO. It'll bring you to this welcome page again. All you have to do is hit install Snoop God and you'll be good to go. So let's run through the installer. It's super simple, not that difficult to go through. Let's quickly run through the keyboard layout. I'm gonna just roll with English, English, US. Hit continue. Now there are options just like in Ubuntu doing a Ubuntu install. And that's one thing I like about this issue. It keeps it all, you know, simple, just like Ubuntu. Very simple to do. You got a couple options so you got your normal installation you got your minimal installation the minimal installation comes with just a web browser plus basic utilities and applications and then you have third-party software that you can install i'll click that just just to do it and then this is pre-selected i don't think you guys can see that because it's blacked out but this will download the updates for you while installing snoop god so it's going on here continue there and then we got our disk space set up so this is super simple we got all your options here got it then got it use entire disk with lvm you got your got it use entire disk and set up encryption lvm so you can put an encryption key in here or encryption password in here and then you can also do your manual setup of the hard drive and then you make sure you select the right drive of course i put a 64 gig just to kind of show you guys that it will use 64 gigs even though the requirement says 80 i would recommend you follow the, the what's laid out in their documentation but i got away with 64 so good to go this is basically a breakdown of what it'll look like before basically before is nothing and then after it'll actually have snoop god on it so i'm gonna use the guide it use entire disk let's hit install now it'll go through set up our drive space then we select our location and it'll, it'll go on and start the partitioning in the background as well as copying over files or extracting files and copying over files but let's see i am on the pacific time so select your you know your location united states for your location then your user information so you can go through set up your account i'm gonna just put josh as my username and then type in a super strong password recommend you guys do that as well and now i'm gonna just name this snoop dog and then require password on login i'm glad that's selected right out the box in my opinion you never want to set the os to log in automatically you want to make sure you know you have to have the password in order to log into the system definitely recommend that now let's hit continue there and this will go through the install and you'll see the little slideshow it'll give you all the information about the operating system that's out there they'll talk about the software that's included and all that good stuff so i'm going to come back when it's actually complete all right so i have to run into the store and having like a quick chat for about five ten minutes with my wife the installation is complete and i'm just joking it didn't take too long i say it normally takes about you know 15 minutes or so with all of these cybersecurity distros like this because if you think about it it's all the tools that are included with the distro it takes a while for those to get installed so the installation you know normally takes a lot that's why they always have that live iso option so people could just boot up the live and then they can run all the tools from there but let's go on and restart it so we can check out the desktop environment. Be back in a sec. All right, so we got our new operating system booted up. Let's go on and log into it right fast. I may need to adjust the desktop settings at some point. But one thing I did not talk about 
is the desktop environment. Now, as you can see by the logo on the screen, it's none other than the latest version of KDE Plasma. And this is bundled with Snoop God. And we all know KDE is awesome. It has a sleek and customizable user interface and it's very cool to use. Now, it may be a little heavy on resources, but at the end of the day, you can't deny the fact that KDE Plasma is a beautiful desktop environment. And also with KDE Plasma, users can tailor their workspace to suit their needs, which you could do that on a lot of different other desktop environments. But with KDE, it's also possible to do that as well, you know, because of all the customization that you have with this desktop environment. All right, let me go through the most important part of this distro, which is the cybersecurity tools. And that's mainly what I want to go through. If you've used KDE in the past, it's pretty much the same. It has a software center, you know, all that good stuff. So just to keep it simple, all of the tools are broken out into categories. So, and it's just like on Kali, just like any of the other cybersecurity based Linux distros, it's broken out under the start menu. Like for instance, you got cracking, exploitation, forensics, hoarding, information gathering, networking, reverse engineering. So if you into reverse engineering malware and all that stuff, scripts and utilities, sniffing, spoofing. You also got some stress tests, vulnerability analysis, web applications that's basically all the tools that are associated with web applications like i don't know if you guys remember the wordpress scan i covered a while back that's in there wireless so all your tools for that and then you also have your normal operating system tools that are on the system so for instance like under graphics you got gwen view internet you, one cool thing is the tour browser there so you got that and your firewall builder that's awesome and it comes with multiple browsers which is good to see so it's got that latest version of firefox google chrome you got a few multimedia tools vlc office uh, so ocular so forth so it don't come with libre but you can easily install it i'm sure it's in the repository and then you you also have your normal you know packages so synaptic package manager software and updates and then the rest is just basically your base KDE applications. It comes with the Dolphin file manager, system monitors, you know, stored up disk creators, pretty much any and everything you can think of that comes with the base level of an operating system you have it, which is super cool. So that's pretty much all I wanted to cover really, at least within the desktop environment. Like I said, it has pretty much any and everything you need as far as the cybersecurity tools in order for you to get things going. And so there, and so there you have it. That was a quick tour of Snoop God Linux. And there you have it. And overall, in my opinion, Snoop God is an essential tool for anyone involved in the cybersecurity field, providing users with a powerful set of utilities and tools to perform penetration testing, vulnerability assessment, and digital forensics. So make sure you check it out. Like I said, I'll have those links down in the description of the video. So you can go right to their page and download the distro. And also don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video helpful and be sure to subscribe to the Keep It Take It channel for more Linux tutorials and tech insights. Until next time, stay curious, stay tech savvy, and of course, keep it tech.